Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is sort out this pro problem. Now, as you can see here, our mesh seems to be, well, our weapon, pickup we weapon mesh, seems to be orbiting round the, uh, the pickup point. Now, if we go over to the rocket launcher, you will see, hmm, that's nice, it just seems to be rotating completely on top of the pickup point. Okay, so how do we deal with this? Now, let's get out of here. Come on, get out. Right, now, yes, I started this earlier and it didn't work and we uh, went back. Oh, yeah, okay then. Right, now the problem being is that we use, here's me, I'm still in the default properties of our first person weapon code. Yeah. Now if you look in the default properties, you will also see that we state which mesh is used for the pickup. Okay. Now this is also, mm, let's say, dealt with in the first person code. You would have thought possibly yeah it'll be in the third person e.g. the attachment code but not anymore on not in this case okay so it is all dealt with well what little there is to be dealt with as far as I know is in the actual first person weapon code now obviously we've set our skeletal mesh for the pickup but as you notice, we were orbiting round the pickup point where the UT game weapons were just sort of like rotating above the weapon point. Now you could go in here and go default properties. You can look at every single uh, UT game weapon code. I don't think you'll find it because what we were looking for something, we're wanting something that could translate the pivot point of our skeletal mesh. Now I say that very very slyly because we're looking in here and you can go all the way down here and you will find absolutely diddly squat because what we're, what, what we're looking at is something like you know fire offset done it for the fire effects, player view offset done it to move the mesh across so we're thinking, well, maybe it's something along those lines. And you look down here and you find absolutely nothing. Okay. And you're like, mm, why? Well, you get a locker rotation. Hmm. Could that be something to do with it? Eh, not quite close, but no cigar. All right. So what you really got to do here is to go into the actual UT weapon code. All right. This is, as you can see there, in UT game classes UT weapon. Now it's a big file. As you can see, we're on something like a 3145th line. So go down into the default properties and just slowly go down. You see there it's setting for the, the meshes for, for the uh, the pickup and the, for the first person. And you'll see here the firing states array what's that about don't ask me I'm only a, I'm only a little guy and we'll go down here and we go down and see all these things that can be set from the UT weapon code okay so you've got your fire anims yeah arm fire anims hmm hmm does that mean does that start sort of like Clicking any bell, ringing any bells, uh, maybe at a later date. Arms, if you if you look at this, you can go weapon put down on him. Arms put down on him. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave that. I'll try to get back to it at a later date. But what we're looking at is something that will move the pivot. Now, I know for a fact that I've already gone straight past it because I've looked for it about ten times already off recording. Right, so if we go back up here, uh, it's a bit, I won't say ambiguous, but if you don't know it's there, you won't realise this is what we actually need. 
it is the pivot translation equals. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, in GeoDav's favourite style, copy. Now don't forget we're in the UT weapon. All right. So we're going to go into our first person class code. Now I'm going to put it at locker road between the crosshairs and the locker rotation. So I'm just going to paste it in there. Now make this pretty. Get it all nice and lined up. Now, what this actually does, if you look in the editor and you look at the UT game weapons, whether it's the link gun, the rocket, la the rocket launcher, or the shock rifle, when you load them up in the the editor to have a look at them, you'll see them off sitting over to the right and uh, a green line going up to the zero 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 right. This is where you get the minus 25 on the Y. So if we go, because our weapon mesh actually sits at 0, 0, 0, yeah? If we change this Y to a 0, it'll fix it, won't it? He said. Well, let's go and see. Well, as, you, as you can see, Change the pivot translation to zero y on the zero. Yeah. Start the game. Compile the scripts. Doobie 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 doo. Bum bum bum. Jobs are good and start the game again. And have a drink of coffee. Okay. Come on. Here we go. In action game, game mode, death game. You can see the uh, it's getting a bit squiffy here. The menus. Oh god, I don't know what I've done here. Right, okay, press fire. Right, before I go anywhere, hit the tab. Kill bots. Think. Yep, they're dead. Won't get them bothering me now. Now I'm going to have to run to the other end of the map because I've only put one weapon pick up with our nicely weapon. Now this actually exaggerates the problem. I won't say the problem even more, but it'll give you an idea of where we're going. Okay, so obviously this rotation effect for the pickup will be going off the root placing or the root uh, location of your base bone of the weapon. Now obviously the UT3 weapons have got their base bones in the middle. Yeah, ours hasn't. Ours is set at zero, 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 which is why the weapon is now rotating round on zero, zero, zero. So if we want it to look like that, we can you well you can either move the bone yourself, which is probably not a good idea, or we can go back out of here. Yeah, see the menu. I don't know if the I'm sure the guys at Epic already know about this. At least in this size that I use, which is eight eight hundred by six hundred. The scale form menu is getting a little bit out of hand. Anyway, let's get back into code. Don't want to bother with them. Okay, so we, we got it so it's not orbiting the pivot, but it's rotating now round on the, be, the base bone. All right, and we don't really want that, and we don't want to edit the, the mesh itself. So what we do is go into the pivot translation x equals uh, how long's my weapon my weapon is 64 units long uh, if i actually go I'm making a wild guess here educated wild guess at x being minus 32 this is probably going to be too extreme i can see it coming 
but we'll see what happens okay so we'll, we'll save it see this is one of the advantages of being the person that actually made the weapon rigged the weapon textured the weapon and all the yeah one man band and all the values and be, being really really old school because uh, when I went to school we didn't have computers 3D graphics was done by something called technical drawing. Now, as you can see here, we're going to have problems again. Game mode, death. I can't get it at my settings, so I'll just start the game. All right, start the game. I'm going to hit the tab to open the console. Tab open the console. Toolbox. Thank you. Now. See, I am clever, aren't I? You can see now that because I use, it, well, I know the exact length of my my weapon. Yeah, <laughs> uh, don't take that the wrong way, please. But the exact length of this weapon's mesh being 64 units long, by translating the pivot to uh, minus 32, actually puts it in smack bang center. Now, if you wanted it to sit higher or sit lower, you could also uh, change the Z value. Yeah? Right, so we'll leave it at that. Happy. We've got that fixed. No, I don't want to do that. Exit, exit. So, uh, just a quick fix up. If on your weapon pickup it seems to be rotating wrongly, what all you need to do is in the UT weapon code of your weapon, the first person code, is put in the line pivot translation equals and then play around with the values. Okay, this is the easiest way to do it. Please don't use the editor, please don't go back to your. Well, I, su I suppose if you really want to be bone idle and get on your modeler's case, like turn around to him and say, "Rig me a third-person mesh where the 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 base bone smack bang in the middle." Okay, but you can do it by code. Right, that's enough of that. Don't forget pivot translation. Okay, All right, coming up with the next problem soon.